and this is the editorial for candies on the AdCoder DP contest. So, let's look at the problem first. We have n children, they must distribute or they must share k candies between each other, and each child has to receive at most AI candies, and you have to use up all of the candies. You have to find the number of ways for them to share candies, modulo 10 to the 9 plus 7. As you can see, n is very small, it's a 100, and k is 10 to the 5. So let's look at the first example here and work through it, okay? So 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So these are the AIs for the children, and this is obviously the number of children, and this is k. Okay, so let's just go through the situations manually and see what we can start noticing. If the first one gets zero candies, then child two can take one candy or two candies, right? Because if child two takes zero candies, then there's too many candies left over for child three. And if child two takes one, then child three already has has to take three right because he has to take all of the rest of the candies if it's two then three has to take two candies now if one chooses to take one candy then two can take zero one or two candies and if it's again you know the last one has to take all of the leftovers so right here would be three here would be two and here they would take one so, that is five different ways, and that exactly lines up with the solution. Okay, so what can we notice here? Depending on what the first two, whatever the first two children take, that determine obviously, like, influences what the different ways of sharing the remaining candies are, between the rest of the children but more importantly it's like the exactly the same right because it boils down to essentially like the same problem but just smaller which is exactly what we want in dp right so as we can see here if the first two take one candy in total doesn't matter in what way for the rest of the children in this case is just one there's only one way for them to or there's the same amount of ways for them to share the candies right so even if we had like another set right like let's say this guy had to take four then it would be the exact same here, right there would just be one more or it, it would be the same right there would be more options but either way in both cases it would be the same number so we have to make sure we don't like calculate that twice right and again as you can see if we if the first two take one or take two in total then the options for the last guys are exactly the same so in this way we can think of a dp recurrence relation if dp is dp i and j where this is the is distributing the candies up to the ith child and you have to distribute j candies between them then the way to calculate this is simply the sum of so let's say let's call it k which is which goes from zero to ai right because that's that's the amount of candies we're giving to the ith child and in here, all we do is we do ai minus 1 of j minus k, right? Of course, like, this would be, you know, I guess it would be the min of ai and j, of course, you know, just to make it formal, okay? And this is all you have to do, right? Because as we were talking about earlier, whatever the first i children do doesn't matter in what order but whatever number of candies they consume 
there's the exact there's the same number of ways to share them for the rest of the children right so we can just reuse the calculation here so all you would do is like is calculate out this occurrence relation for every single i of of the array right so it'd be for i in 0 to n minus 1 and for j in 0 to k right big k and then you would just do this sum here right you just do this exact same sum here and there you go now the solution for this is obviously we have to loop through n then we have to loop through k and then to do this right it'll be up to ai right whatever the maximum possible for ai is so let's look at how much that is right as you can see ai is at most k okay so this will not fall within the time constraints right because that's like 10 5 times 10 5 times 100 which is way too much so now what do we have to do? We have to knock out one of these k factors. And we can do this pretty easily using prefix sums. As you can see, um, if we have this dp in some array, we're essentially just adding like a prefix, right? This is just some prefix here to the array, right? Because it would be, you know, at first it would be, or it, right it would be dp i minus one of j right if k is nothing and then it would be dp i minus one of oops, j minus one dot 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 until it's j minus k so we can all we can easily do this using prefix sums and that's going to be our final solution now we don't have to do two loop overs for k right so it's the complexity would just be o of n times k which is 10 to 7 and that passes within our time complexity i hope this helped you uh in your learning and i hope it was helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye